the Arizona Fall League is a litmus test for prospects trying to make the jump to the big leagues. And the Cubs, well, they've seen guys over the last few years go to that league, make an impact, and then go on to the big leagues and have success there. There's a couple of guys I want to talk about today. This is the Cubs Baseball Channel. If you're not part of our roster, if you're not part of our prospect list, it's really easy to do. Like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget that our channel right now is brought to you by the Southern League Cubs AA affiliate Tennessee Smokies. They won their first championship in 45 years, and right now you can pick up the swag to prove it. That's right, SmokiesBaseball.com backslash store. Hey guys, I'm Mick Gillespie. Thanks for being here on the channel. All right, let's talk about two guys that are starting to really show up in the uh, Arizona Fall League. And we're going to start with, uh, and both of these guys are going to be in the Cubs double A, where they're going to be in double A for the Cubs next year. So they'll be on that Smokies team that we just talked about that won the championship. But James Triantos is the first guy. Triantos is second in the ACL or the AZL, in batting. Um, how about that? And so you're talking about uh, all of the best prospects on the best teams. It's like an all-star team of prospects, and, and basically every organization will send you know, a handful of their best prospects. They make a roster, and then those guys play together. And uh, the Mesa Solar Sox have seen some really good players lately. And uh, – Triantos, look at this guy. 19 games. He's got a 518 on base percentage. Second in the league with a 437 batting average. But what's really been surprising isn't just the high batting average and the on base percentage, it's the power. He's got three home runs. He's got five triples that leads the league, three doubles in his 31 hits. So, 11 walks, only 12 strikeouts, and a 518 on base percentage again. His OPS is 1264, which is is really phenomenal. So good for him. Uh, he's a middle infielder. He's playing second base right now, and um, he's been impressive. The other guy we wanted to highlight was someone that, just like Triantos, got to double A last year for the last few regular season games and then was a star in the postseason and that's Kevin Alcantara now Alcantara was traded to the Cubs by the Yankees he was part of the Anthony Rizzo trade he is beasting right now five home runs that's third in the league he's got 21 runs batted in and that is second in the league this guy who is uh known as the what the cheetah He's just a beast. Like he kind of takes that persona on and, and you can't, you can't take it away from him because of the aggressiveness that he plays with loves to drive in runs. He's an outfield prospect. His defense in the outfield isn't bad. Uh, it, I, I wouldn't say it's up to Pete Crow Armstrong uh, par yet. And of course, PCA was the minor league defensive player of the year. Right. So no one was better than him according to that award. But uh, you look at the prospects that the Cubs have in the outfield. This is another guy who makes an impact on a roster and is going to be forcing playing time. So let's just kind of put all of the Cubs outfield prospects in a bundle right now and look at what the Cubs have signed at the big league level is obviously say a Suzuki in right field and Ian Happ is in left, right? Cody Bellinger was in center with Mike Tockman. You know, so who knows if those guys will be back. But the Cubs have, they've got talent on the way. They've got guys that are going to need to be playing in the big leagues. Pete Crow Armstrong being one of them. I know you guys have criticized me for telling you that Pete Crow Armstrong is a difference maker. Well, I'm going to stand by that. I know he didn't get a hit in the first, you know, handful of games that he played. And I've questioned the culture at the big league level or the pressure or whatever. 
because I know the guy can play. And we're going to find out that to be the case uh, soon. Okay? You got him. You got um, Alexander Canario. He was the guy that, what, set the Cubs' all-time record for six runs batted in in his first start. Is that a major league record? Might be. I'll tell you what. That guy can play. Both guys are good defensively. Obviously, PCA, Hollywood Pete, is better. He's the best in the minor leagues. But don't sleep on Canario's ability to play center field or a corner outfield spot. He's a good defender, too. Uh, he'll surprise you. You know, doesn't jump off the, the screen like PCA, but the guy can play. Okay? Then you got other guys that might not be – on your, you know, Baseball America or, you know, TV channel guy that says he's a prospect picker, uh, prospect guy. Jonathan Perlaza needs to be on that list. People that know baseball know that Jonathan Perlaza can play. He's a right fielder. We well, trade at Nelson Velasquez. He's got power from both sides of the plate. He drives and runs. The guy's got this clutch ability. He's kind of got a stocky, strong build. Uh, I don't want to say like Kirby Puckett, but the build kind of reminds you of that kind of, you know, compact with power and a really good player. He was in AAA last year and 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 did a good job. And he's going to be pushing for a shot to get to the major leagues. You got Owen Casey, the Cubs number three prospect. They traded you Darvish to get him from the Padres. He's the highest ranked um, or the highest uh, drafted a Canadian outfielder ever. And he's a great everyday player. Got to work on some stuff. You know, he's got to make a little more contact. The uh, soft stuff down and in gets him. But he was in the top of every single offensive category in the Southern League last year. Batting average, home runs, RBIs, doubles, total bases, on-base percentage, you know, uh, slugging, all of that stuff. He is a difference maker. And he's going to be someone that might not be next year, but the year after that, the Cubs are going to have to find some playing time for this guy, or they're going to have to move him out. But he's a difference maker. And then the guy we just talked about, the guy that we're talking about now, Kevin Alcantara. He, he's he's a, another one of these electric players who comes in, drives in runs, changes games, brings in excitement and energy, um, he's fun and we'll see where, where he is when it's all said and done, but someone else that's going to force time. What do you do with Christopher Morrell? Couldn't really find the position for him in the big leagues last year was tied for the league, the team league and home, uh, the team lead in home runs, but no position, but he does play some outfield. It's going to be tough for him to get on the field when these guys get there because they can all play defense and they're, they're all good hitters. So that's a good problem to have. If you're the Cubs, that's kind of leading us back to the Arizona Fall League. That's what you love. You want these prospects pushing. And uh, these two guys, uh, Triantos and Alcantara, getting it done at another level. They're going to be in double A this year. And uh, they're more impact prospects for the Cubs that have one of the top three minor league organizations in all of baseball. If you're not a member of the Cubs baseball channel, make sure that you do. It's really easy. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Go Cubs.